this particular combat. Let's see. Oh, they have barred the doors and windows. Oh, I guess they could have fired weapons to help you well, but they weren't going you to all do any great. damage. Uh, let's see. Does any of you have religion proficiency? Nope. Mm -hmm. That okay. is but as per usual, but anyone with an end score of 13 or higher. But the apprentice <laughs> wizard does. <laughs> oh, hey. Make a uh, religion check. Let's see if he has it. He has Arcana oh. in history. Damn it. If he was in oh, his Alaric. Type. <laughs> <laughs> you recognize a brand on the head of the zombies. Oh. The brand is in the shape of a skull. The mark was likely used as part of some ritual to create the creatures, and is similar to the symbol of death, uh, the symbol of the death god, Mercal. Oh, God. Oh, Alaric will uh, hold his flaming blade aloft to show, and be like, look, they've it's branded... <clears throat> I think it's uh, something to do with some god of death. As you all are putting this back together, they've barred the window you all broke. Uh, they thank you for your help. You'll notice a couple of folks have settled in for the evening. A woman named Marticia sits alone, sits in the, in the corner at a lone table. Uh, she's in charge here. Is this normal? No, not at all. But I'm glad some folks like you all came by. You know, this is why I need to talk to the folks down at Leyland, because we need to set up some sort of mutual defense agreements or some such fancy terms like that, because I can't be handling problems like this on my own. Where'd you folks come from? I don't know. I don't know. North? Leyland. Leyland? <laughs> on our way to Leyland? Well, I hope you folks are going to be sticking around in the region because I might need some help again if some stuff's like this going to pop off. Uh, Silk says, "Well," and he pulls pulls out uh, his list and his uh, acquisition reports from Lenin Greywin and says, "I believe there will be some trade moving between Vandalin and Lyland by way of the Lion Shield Coster." Maybe. Well, oh, so I see you folks are moving in over from Tribor now, I see. Well, I still grow the best vegetables and livestock in this region, so watch your step. But it could be beneficial to the both of us. No need to be competitors. Yeah, we'll see about that. What sort of goods are you folks bringing through here from these? Oh, I believe it's Chapter raw goods. It's raw goods. So, not not livestock, not food. Well, you folks are welcome to stay the night. I won't charge you for the night since you folks did a solid by us. Saving the kid upstairs, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, can you can go talk to... You can go talk to Becky's at the bar. That's the handsome gentleman with the beard. He'll take care of you for, for the night. Drinks are on us. Uh, Silk hands her two gold. Says one for the window down here, one for the door upstairs. I appreciate you accounting for the collateral damage you folks did. And what's this about another door? <laughs> I I went through it. <laughs> I went through it. <laughs> I take it the door lost, huh? The door lost, but the kid upstairs <laughs> did hit me right in the throat for it, so... I well, like hell, Leo, look at you! I think I've paid for this one twice. And he, uh, Silk picks up a drink and raises it and looks over towards the kid and then takes a drink. Uh, Cora will eventually emerge from the kitchen with some very special pork pies that are incredibly spicy, but very delicious. So... Magnus, I can have take to suffer. It. No, <laughs> make, make a, a lark can take it. Make a constitution check. Do I get advantage because fire is my resistance? Only if you spend a point 
a sorcery point. A sorcery point? Yeah. That's how okay. it works. It's broken and <laughs> sure. dumb. Let's <laughs> do this. Agamorns get it for free. Oh, oh dear God. Roll again. Oh, oh. dear God. <laughs> uh, nope. You cough up half the pork pie and you try and pull it off. Make a uh, deception check to not look so goofy. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, done. No, you pull it off pretty good. Take it in stride. Like, you see him eat it immediately silky. You watch him bite into it, and his eyes just go wide. And they turn a little red, and you can see, like, moisture building up in his eyes as he manages to swallow it down. But uh, you notice he slows down in the eating after that. Uh, <laughs> it's it's very good. On well, back east, you notice he's got a... A pendant around his neck in the shape of a triton. And on Cora, you notice that she has on her neck behind each ear, her has she has tattoos of curved daggers. Okay. You eventually meet the Smith who works here. He'll uh comment that your wagon's pretty nice and they got it settled into the courtyard for the night. Uh so we'll thank him. Uh, His name is Tiga. Tiga. Oh, she's a woman. Her name is Tiga. Tiga, okay. Uh, Silk will thank Tiga. Uh, uh, ask her what he owes for the horses. Well, it'll be about two silver tonight to take care of the horses. We'll do what we need to do for them. You guys can move along. Yep, and uh, pay her. Uh, there's a traveling bard here named Tarbin Tull. Uh, he's excited to meet you all. He would love to hear your stories while you're here. Oh, well, I'm going to perform some stories. Make a performance check. I will also perform with La Fantasma. Uh, well, it's very impressive. The two of you collaborating together put on an amazing display of the adventures you've all had over the last couple of the last year or so in your time around Fandolin. And the folks here are really impressed about the kind of people they're attracting to the region now. Yay. Yeah. Tarbin reveals to you all that he's the one who's paying for your drinks since you all saved them. Other than that, there's quite a few folks from the, the region, seem to be some farmers who had just come in to blow off some steam and seem relieved that the situation was wrapped up so quickly, as far as they're concerned. Like you guys handled this in under a minute. <laughs> I'm a I'm a tip the tip the staff. Okay. Uh ten silver, whatever okay. goes around there. Um, they are appreciative. Now, uh, does Silk recognize the tattoos of the dagger tattoos? Mm, make a religion check. Girl with the dragon. I would say you don't. Uh, but if you do ask Cora about it, she'll say uh, quite earnestly that no, she just got it when she was young to piss off her mom. Do I distinguish the trident differently than a pitchfork? Ah. No, he'll tell you he got it from when he was uh, sailing in his earlier life. But he put that life behind him after one of their ships got too messed up in a storm and lost a couple of friends. Now, when he says lost a ship in the storm, uh, Silk starts to regale him with the spelunking that he did searching those ships over next to the... Tower of Storms and the the treasure that they he goes, found. Well, shit, we were wondering whatever happened to that that their delivery we were supposed to make. What was in that box? Uh, was it the the Orca or the other one? Whatever box you want to choose. Uh, it was a spell book. Uh, Ugh, wizards, of course. Uh, but uh. Don't uh don't tell anybody that uh it was found because we already sold that. 
<laughs> nah, I'm sure those wizards already filed their little weird claims on it or whatever, but uh well, I'm glad you gave me a little bit of closure on that. I wasn't expecting that today either now. Hmm. You see him just casually wiping a drink as he's, <laughs> cause he's reminiscing about something. Uh, Token, is there anything you want to do with the folks in the end? No, me and the kid are flying around. I'm asking him what his goals are. Uh, well, I have oh. to return to Neverwinter eventually. I was running an errand between here and Leyland. I'm actually supposed to head back there to Neverwinter. I had to bring something to the wizard. I think his name is Dalavar. Dalavar down in uh, Leyland. I might change his name. I might have forgotten what the wizard's name was. Okay. But you all are really Dalia. impressive. Daily, no. See, well, you're you're impressive, young wizard. You killed one of the the, the things. He blushes. Well, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go back to the room and oh, no. look at the leftovers. Wraiths are spectral, so I don't think they leave much behind, but you can study the remains of the zombies. Um, no, that's weird. I'm gonna look for Well, that's where we draw the line. Oh, you're just you're gonna just kidnap this kid and just start taking him alone in rooms. You're it's literally room. Peter Panning this kid around. <laughs> Peter Panning. Yeah. Right. Right? <laughs> That's... Oh my god. So is it might as well like be... cloth, or did it just turn into, like, goop? No, it just sort of dissipates. Oh, well, I'll make him a little trinket. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you have enough tool proficiency now. You could probably put something together. Yeah. And He's I'll very thankful of this. I would say, well, uh, I don't know who you're training under, but I see your potential. Would you like to train under me? I mean, what kind of magic do you practice? Where'd you study? Ah, the sky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a deception check. It's not. It's not deception. Well, you're not exactly being forthcoming. Well, I don't actually know how to answer that. You don't seem the bookish type. I don't even see your spell book on you. Oh, I'll show him the spell book. I have fake one. Oh no, that's true. You could fake this. This poor child. Mm. <sighs> this poor child. goblins always deceiving you. That's a generalization. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not unless you're big. I don't know, mister. Press the digitation. I'll look at a few bugs and Eldritch Blast them and Chill Touch. I'll display all the candy. He recognizes Eldritch Blast. But well, we don't know how to do that. You're a warlock. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, but I'm that's, a fancy warlock. That's what education will get you. I'm a genie. Answers. I'm a genie. <laughs> Skidoosh. Well, I mean, your abilities are impressive, but they taught us not to take <laughs> deals because they never go the way you want them to. Yeah, smart. But if we see you guys again, you can always come check on us over in Neverwinter if you all need some magical assistance. I'm sure my master would be willing to help you. Uh, she's pretty clever. She knows all sorts of magic. Neverwinter. What's your master's name? Alda. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing. Um, I'm supposed to get some sleep. They want us to head out on the road. I'm supposed to be traveling with Tolbin. He's supposed to be helping escort me. But he told me I couldn't. Tarbin, he said I couldn't hang out down here because there's too many folks drinking. Oh, you can play with the carriage over there. Or I could teach you some things about magic. Sure, I'll hang out with you and try and learn some magic from you. Make an arcana check. Magic. All right, what would you like to teach him about? Uh, 
I guess I'll teach him shillelagh. Okay. He's very curious about how it works because he's never had the opportunity to speak to a druid. He's very curious that you know this spell. Mine looks like a harpoon. It just makes a stick magical. Yeah, magical <laughs> looking stick. Okay. That's really fascinating. I've never figured out how the how the druids are able to do this. I understand that there's transmutation power magics that work on it, but Never figured out how they harnessed it. Centuries of research on it. Can't figure it out. <laughs> well, it's easy. You grab a stick and you change it. Yeah. Mm, more Lux. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you guys want to wrap up with each other? Because uh, the next section is pretty huge and I can't really start it tonight. Uh, Silk would like to get into a drinking contest with anyone at the bar because he is tuckered out and done in. Let's <laughs> Fantasma, go. Fantasma and uh, Alaric, do you want in on this? You both have concerts. Let's go, Alaric. Think. Let's oh, see what you got. Okay, fine. All right. While they're doing that, I'm just going to go around asking people if they want to go on an adventure. Okay, Peter uh, Pan. There is a young halfling <laughs> who wants to head down to Leyland to become a fisher. Uh, Tarbin the Bard is interested in possibly linking up with you when he comes back from his errand in Neverwinter. He thinks that sounds exciting. Oh, that's who the little wizard's supposed to go with, right? Yeah, the, the yeah, traveling bard. Just to delivery first. Gotta take care of the kid first. Yeah, okay. They can come. <laughs> All right, folks. The three of you make uh, constitution saving throws. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That was the check. Let's roll for some folks in the bar. Uh, I guess you can just plus three to my con save. Or right check. away, you yeah. everybody is like totally fine. The first round is easy. Light beers. Next round, they're pulling out some of the nicer stuff. Con saves again. God. The DC has increased. Oh, no. oh, one of the commoners is out. <laughs> the are out. <laughs> Let's see. La Phantasma is out. Oh, <laughs> DC went up to 15 on this one. No, sorry, DC was 14. You're still in, barely. Oh, okay. Yeah, Silk shakes La Phantasma's shoulder and says, Come on, hang in there. <laughs> and then oh, puts the, right. the next drink in front of him. Final round. You oh, see God. them. Take another beer and then they drop a shot in it. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, the commoner does not make it. Uh oh. Blarg <laughs> does not make it. <laughs> <laughs> and down he goes. And face down. Blarg <laughs> face plants. Alarg <laughs> drinks it. I'm good. And then he just puts his head down on the table. Yeah. <laughs> he, lays, lays his he, he tries to get up from the bar, and his legs just fold underneath him. <laughs> they go, well, looks like you two folks need to come on the way to decide this. And you see Baki's reach under the bar, and he pulls out something that's got some dust on it, and he blows it off. He's like, let's see what you folks got. Uh, All right. So, so, Final so hands, him, hands him a gold and says, Thanks for pulling out the good stuff. Think, <laughs> Final yeah. con save. Pull it out of good stuff. Oh. Oh, no. Not at 19. Damn. Silk, this has a, has a bite to it, but it's so smooth. Phantasma, you remember the bite, and then you make the <laughs> oh, the dice screwed me. Uh, everyone who failed uh, the uh, everyone who failed the uh, drinking contest, you will all have a level of exhaustion in the next session. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, Silk carries the two of them up. To oh, the actually, rooms. no. Both of you make a con save in the morning. DC fifteen. We'll see if you get a level of exhaustion. Oh my god. Fantasma, you're not feeling so great in the morning. Alaric, 
drink enough water last night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, this so why I don't drink. You guys will get a long you rest. You made me do we're it. Gonna get Phantasma uh, <laughs> level of exhaustion for next time. <laughs> oh, amazing. Awesome. Uh, so it does make sure that they and their possessions all get into their rooms safely. Oh! Easily enough. Maybe he he help he allows the bard that's paying. Oh, the can I ask this wizard to cure me with my because that says that that, that Wraith took my max HP? Oh, that just comes back on the long rest. Oh, cool. That's why I didn't worry about adjusting it because you oh. guys were gonna do anything else because it was already nighttime when you you guys got here. All right. All right. Well, we're gonna call it there. As you all will arrive in Leyland next week. <laughs> all right, there's a, guys. There's a lot that there's a lot that happens on the arrival in the Leyland, so I can't really start. Nah, back not at all. It's, yeah, it's it's a very action packed session. That's okay. Oh, the session's, all right. The session's gonna start the same exact way. <laughs> What's going on? Pow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and it's gonna be the same spell too. What's going on? It's, Maybe you guys will get some of the stuff that we missed out on because blew everything up like right away. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel Nucky, like that's not gonna happen. Nucky crushed us. <laughs> Nucky's like, well, well, you all did a very specific thing, so fuck you guys, you don't get it. All right. Uh, <laughs> wow. It was rough. Uh, that was... Well, I guess if you pick a um a new character type you want to run for uh next week, let me know during the week so I can set it up. I don't think I'm going to change. Okay. Keeping that sneaky goblin. We're all friends. Sneaky flying goblin. Alaric. Jealous. Alaric and... La Phantasma look a little bleary in the morning. La Phantasma would look a little green if he wasn't wearing a pink mask. (laughs) <laughs> Bloodshot. His, his eyes are the same color pink as the uh-huh. Yeah, Alaric uh-huh. just be like, why did you make me do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna slap Alaric real hard on the back. Be like Ha And I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> Holding his head a little bit. Oh I don't like <laughs> I don't understand. (laughs) (laughs) Silk Silk walks up next to Alaric and kind of tilts his head and says, he might be a sore loser. Uh, Sore loser. (laughs) He's sore, all right. I almost got to kill Jazzy. That would have been great. I might have just straight up murdered you with like... Can you imagine like back to back wraith crits and then you fail both of them? Both of them <laughs> saves, and you just go like, oh, so I guess I'm dead. Uh, so great. if you were I'm never if, drinking again. If I had failed the con save twice on its attack and my HP was reduced to zero, uh, then I couldn't come back with my Orcish Fury. Okay, yeah, because the reduction or, yeah. would have superseded the falling the zero. Exactly. But you would have needed to... I would have needed to fail twice. Like, I would have, it would have required failing to the crit but on that first hit. Because I lost 15 HP to... Or 11 HP to the... Uh, firebolt. Have to. I think it. I think it would have taken three hits, including the crit one. So four, four regular hits for take me out. It failed all the con. To like guarantee that I wasn't coming back, or just you know, hit me when I'm at one HP after I come back once. <laughs> Bop you in da- the face. Bop me again. All right, guys. I gotta <laughs> get to bed. Day, uh, have a good one, one yo. Yeah, talk to y'all next week. Yep. I right, peace. Later, guys.